Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Today what I'm doing is showing how I remove noises, like electrical noises, from my 3DS sound recordings when my 3DS is plugged into the wall and the audio adapter is going to my camera. So what you'll need to do is if you're using Premiere and Adobe products like Premiere, you'll want to do um, right click here on the video clip do edit clip in Adobe Audition that's going to open up Adobe Audition and then you'll want to wait for it to load select all go to this is Audition CC 2017 effects noise reduction restoration noise reduction process and then you'll want to click this folder here where it says load a noise print from disk if you already have one that's great and what you want to do is, like, I have three of them here. So I'm going to click on, double click on this, uh, click apply, wait for it, there we go. And then, I guess I should have previewed it, but that's okay. I can show side by side how it looks. So we want to do control A again, effects, noise reduction, res restoration, noise reduction process. Click the other one. I'll put these up for download. Click apply. And okay, so that's done. So then you do it again, noise reduction process for the third one. And then click apply. And then you hit save. It should be all good to go. And now it's generating the peak file. Okay, so in case you don't already have FFT files for doing noise removal, what you can do is you you go into your into the file and like find and look. So here it is zoomed out. So you look for like these bands right here. Like these purple or like these taller bands of stuff and like here where I have zoomed in right here there's one right here right there where the hand is so I'm gonna briefly play it for you and you should have heard the uh, kind of a whining noise like uh, I can't do it at the right pitch but you get the idea so if we if we zoom in here and we highlight this. As you can see, there's nothing else there. You highlight that. Go up to Effects, Noise Reduction, Restoration, Capture Noise Print. And it says it'll be captured as and loaded as a noise print for use the next time the noise reduction effect is launched. Click OK. Go back to effects, noise reduction, restoration, noise reduction process. Oh. And then you do capture noise print, and it'll grab the noise print from there. And then if we do select entire file, then you do apply and wait for it. And now, oh, it was right here. And now we can go here. and there's nothing. I'll play the first and then the second so you can hear it. You'll need to do this for other stuff like here and well, here is the same one but um, there's other bands that you'll need to do if you're if you don't have if you're not on 60 Hertz wall power frequency you might need to do other um do it yourself my files might not work they're under ccby creative commons by attribution so you can just use them and then attribute them to me anyway i hope that works and if you need to save one you go to effects noise reduction restoration noise reduction process. So it's the current noise print and if you want to save it you click here, save the current noise print. 
and then you can name it whatever you want and then write it down. To see the frequencies, you, you see over here hertz. And you can drag up and down for different hertz frequencies into the kilohertz. Some things you might need to do, you might need to right click here. It might be notes, so you'll need to switch to hertz. No, this isn't the default. Oh, this is how it usually looks. You'll need to click up here for the show spectral pitch display to show like this. So, um, I hope that helps. Goodbye for now.